Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new tutorial video about WPF resources. I know it's been a long time since I have added any new content to my WPF tutorial series. So here you go guys, it's a brand new video with a brand new and very very important concept called WPF resources. If you look at the actual content of resources on the web, you are going to blow your mind off. It's a lot of lot of information to digest all at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it really short, really simple and I'm, then I'm going to let you grow from the basics that I'm going to provide in this particular video and the videos to follow. Now WPF resources is a very wide, wide array of things that we need to talk about so what we're gonna do is in each section uh, or in each video rather we're gonna cover one particular section of resources for WPF so number one thing what is this WPF resources thing let me give you an example if you are an HTML developer a web developer or a web application developer you know that what do you need to do when styling a particular HTML page or even the entire application is to create a .css file. Now that .css file is then attached or inserted into your HTML page and it gives the styling information to the HTML. So that's a win-win situation. HTML wins and CSS also wins. Now similarly in conceptual similarity I would say rather we use resources to offer really common ground for my WPF application to access certain entities like styling information, icon files or even images. Now these resources are all pooled together in memory and then my application can just take out whatever it wants and then use it on the page. In conceptuality that is as simple as resources can be. So today we'll be talking about a very basic kind of resource. Let's say that I want to style my text box to be foreground color red always. So that's like putting the foreground color red, but I don't want to do it, you know, for each and every text box separately. So I'm going to create a resource and then each text box can then use that particular resource. So resources is as simple as that. So today we'll be talking about the step one of creating a resource, step two of actually using the resource. So today we'll be trying to cover these two basic steps. Now this is a very basic HT, sorry, XAML window that we created last time in our user control uh, WPF tutorial video. So if you haven't checked out that video, please do go ahead and check it out. So I'll just give you a small brief that this is a basic window. It has a button which loads a user control into the stack panel that I have written over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the resource. That is our step one. So let's come right after the window tag of the XML ends so as you can see this is my last property window startup location center screen and the tag then ends over here so I'm just gonna go enter and then I'm gonna write down window dot resource fantastic so window dot resources and we have now created a tag wherein we can define what resource we want to use so as I said I want to use a solid brush a solid color brush can be used in the foreground as well as in the background. So I'm going to go solid color brush. Then I'm going to use my XAML markup. In this case, if you don't know what is XAML markup, it's right over here. So in my XAML markup, I'm going to go X colon. I'm going to give it a key. The key is nothing but the name with which you want to use that particular resource. So I'm going to give it a key like say brush. Let's keep the R small. Fantastic. Now I need to give the value, the color attribute to this particular key that I've created. So I'm going to say red because that is the color that I'm looking for. Then I'm going to end my solid color brush tag 
and as you can see it's a very basic looking window dot resources then solid color brush and then the closing tag for window dot resources and that's it step one is done so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to add a text block or even a text box any of the above that you want to use so I'm gonna go with text box and then I'm gonna say I need to use this particular resource now you see that this particular resource is of type solid color brush and as I said before I want to change my foreground color to red so I'm gonna use the foreground property of the text box tag and then I'm gonna say curly braces fantastic I'm gonna write down a markup called static resource now this is suggesting that static resource be followed with a resource key so by law of logic we're gonna take this brush key that we have created over here and then just paste it and end my text box tag it is as simple as that I'm just gonna keep it into my second row not in my first row so that there is no confusion let's do one thing let's go even even greater than that control C control V fantastic so we have created two rows now one for the stack panel and one for my text box which has a static resource brush which is defined in window dot resources inside a solid color brush attribute tag rather now I'm gonna run this particular application and as you can see the text box is created I write down anything that I want to write down and as you can see it's the bright color red and that's my user control so fantastic I have done uh, created the text box and then we have set the particular uh, foreground color to red now the fantastic thing about using resources in this case a static resource is that you can use it as many times as you want so I've created one more text box but this time I want my background color to be red and not so we're gonna just shift this particular to number one and this particular text box to number two now as you can see in the uh, display of the window here itself the background has changed to the color red and but what about the foreground color now what is the foreground color for this particular text box so I'm gonna run this particular application I'm gonna type in to the first one first text box and as you can see it's ABC fantastic now as I come to my second text box you can see that the color remains black because we haven't set any foreground property for this particular text box so today what we have done is the very most basic creation of a resource it's a window resource we'll be getting to it uh, later on into my further videos as to what different types of resources you can create in WPF the next step that we have done is we have created that resource and we have taken that resource and used it into two different text boxes with two different attributes one is a foreground color the other is a background color so I hope this particular video helps you out and you have now understood what basically resources mean. If you did like my videos, please do leave a like. You can always share a comment. And obviously, if you really love my videos, then please do subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a great time.